on the top of the last page, uh, actually second to last page of the um, score. And at that point it brings back the, the spinning material. So that's a, re a retransition. This is a little longer than the first one. So here we've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you've got a couple of phrases here. Um, you'll hear where it you know, has the 30 second notes. That's where then the second phrase is gonna begin. Um, and so anyway, let's listen to that much. So here we are in part four, and we've heard the first semi-phrase that's gonna be repeated. Second phrase. that you can look for in codas, or a lot of times on little codas like this, is the use of a tonic pedal tone. So you're going to hear that on all the strong beats, that, that tonic pitch in the bass. And this coda is in, codata is in two parts. So the opening part is based on the um, part one material. And then the second part of it is based on the spinning material that was associated with the auxiliary members. And so that's how the piece ends, is with this, uh, this old coda. song form in which part four is a transposed restatement of the material from part two. All right, what I would like you to do for uh, the next video is to listen to the Chopin Prelude, Opus 28, number 17, and this one um, there is a score for that as well. If you look on the handout and scores page, you'll see that under the song forms, scores. And it's the third one. You see what is um, uploaded here, or downloaded to uh, the, the website is the complete Chopin Preludes. Anyway, this starts on page 22 out of 37 out of this PDF file that has 37 pages, but it's the 17th uh, prelude. So if you um, look at that, it's you know, page 22 out of 37, and it starts in the middle of the page, and it's you know A flat major and allegretto is the uh, the tempo indication. So listen to that. Uh, do the same thing, uh, you know, try to see that this time you can identify all of the returns of the opening material. Uh, one thing about this one is that uh, it doesn't have a full return of the opening material. It just um, it brings back a partial uh, return um, the first time. And then when it comes back at the end, then it is a full return, but it's extended. That fourth phrase is extended at the end before you have a coda. Um, so this one has some uh, very beautiful 
uh, progression. So this is, is uh, you know, a great example of Chopin's, Chopin's harmonic style. Um, and you have some enharmonic modulations in this too that um, are, are very beautiful. One harmony that I'll point out to you is a borrowed chord. And so in this one, Chopin uses a, um, a minor four chord in the um, you know, major tonality. And so using that borrowed chord from the minor, the parallel minor mode, is something that he does. And it's something, too, that we're going to use as a marker for the beginning of auxiliary members. So again, I mentioned you know, that you can have some, something either in you know, a returning theme or it could even be returning harmony like this one that is going to indicate that that's the beginning of you know, the passage that's going to return us to the opening theme. So we'll see that as a retransition to part three and then also to part five. And then we'll also hear it um, at the end of the prelude. All right, so if you listen to that, try to analyze that, and we'll talk about that um, in the next lecture.